a journalist detained and tortured. A practice not uncommon in news headlines. A claim usually made against dictatorships. Unfortunately, however, I am talking about a very possible near future scenario involving the governments of Australia and the US. And as we know, this will not be the first time that they have been connected to torture. Governments who promote themselves as nations that as a matter of principle and law enjoy freedom of expression, speech and the press. Julian Assange is a journalist, a brave and selfless journalist who is not afraid to publish information for our benefit, though there should be nothing to be afraid of. Julian has done nothing more than act in the spirit of freedom of speech, freedom of the press, truth and transparency in his professional capacity as a journalist. Exactly what's expected from our journalists. And yet, he has become a political prisoner. Our media is of poor quality already. And what is being done to Julian with the acknowledgement of our government will only ensure this continues what a message it sends to all other journalists, including the journalists here. Publish what we don't want you to, and we'll destroy your life. Julian will be extradited to the US. It's not a matter of if, but when. The Australian government has proven by past and current examples that what they have to say on the matter is meaningless. They lack credibility. I've had first-hand experience of what it is like to be an Australian citizen and a political prisoner of the US. Australian consular assistance did not protect me from, uh, from treatment that amounted to torture. Instead, they allowed it to happen, and they seem to be giving all indications that history is about to repeat itself. Such involvement of itself amounts to complicity. The Australian government is once again sacrificing and devaluing Australian citizenship only to appease a foreign power. Julian Assange is part of a long line of Australian citizens neglected, if not harmed, by their own government while abroad. Embarrassing at the least for Australia, and at times illegal at its worst. It appears Australian citizenship is worthless in the view of the Australian government, that is Liberal and Labor. Up till now the Australian government has been able to intervene on his behalf, and yet they have not, and they are able to intervene in the future but based on past experience, they won't. They should be securing assurances that Julian won't be mistreated while in US custody. Instead, they just deny that he'll even go there. We need to demand of our leaders freedom of speech, including freedom of press, where incentives and awards are given to those such as Julian, not punishments. We want a dynamic and independent media who can operate without fear of reprisals, something that we currently lack. We want freedom from politically motivated detentions, freedom from physical and psychological torture. Our leaders, need, our leaders need to take more pride in being Australian, to safeguard its citizens abroad and give peace of mind to those who carry Australian passports overseas. And to have the courage to say no to foreign countries who treat us as second class citizens and wish us harm. Julian must be brought home before it is too late. My experience is a good prediction as to what awaits Julian. I cannot understand why we, especially our government, have still not learnt from the past. I hope and I truly hope that Julian is prepared for conditions that will amount to torture because that is what awaits him once he ends up in Euro's hands. Thank you so much, David Hicks.